Oh, little kitty, you seem to be eating junk and lacing around too much these days. Please get active to help your heart. Otherwise, such a lifestyle is known for causing a heart attack. Me? How? Well, let us explore that by answering a heartbreaking question. What causes a heart attack? Zoom in! The human heart, a marvel of biological engineering, is responsible for pumping life-sustaining blood throughout the body. However, this vital organ is not unstoppable and one of the most feared cardiovascular events is a heart attack, claiming around 7 million lives worldwide every year. But what causes it in the first place? You see, like all muscles, our heart needs oxygen to function properly. It gets the supply of oxygenated blood from vessels called coronary arteries. However, due to various reasons, fatty deposits or plaque start developing on the walls of these arteries. At times, these fatty plaques can get hardened, lumpy or inflamed causing a partial blockage that reduces the flow of oxygenated blood. If this plaque ruptures, your body perceives it as any other injury and within minutes starts to form blood clots around it, leading to the complete blockage of the artery. As a result, blood flow is cut off to the heart muscles and oxygen-starved cells begin to die within a few minutes, leading to a heart attack, medically known as myocardial infarction. If help is not received immediately, things may go downhill as the heart will stop pumping blood. And in worst-case scenario, the person may pass away. So it's vital to understand the warning signs to identify the lurking threat of a heart attack. And what are they? The most common signs include crushing chest pain or discomfort that may spread to the left arm, neck, jaw or back. At times, there are other subtle signs such as shortness of breath, cold sweats, nausea and lightheadedness. For women and older people, constant tiredness and weakness can be a major sign of a weak heart. Not only that, but certain things make a heart attack more likely, like high blood pressure, high cholesterol, smoking, diabetes, being overweight and not being active. So, if you notice people showing any of the said symptoms with no sign of improvement, then it's better to immediately take them to the nearest hospital. The doctor might do a test called an electrocardiogram or ECG to check the heart's electricity and a blood test for muscle damage. If they find a problem, the cardiologist can do an angioplasty using a thin tube with a balloon to clear blockages in the artery. In serious situations, doctors might do bypass surgery. They take a piece of vein from another part of the body and redirect the blood flow around the blockage to fix the heart. But remember, it's better to prevent problems by making lifestyle changes, which can significantly lower the risk of a heart attack. Yes, to keep your heart strong, eat healthy foods like fruits and veggies, play and move around for regular exercise, and stay away from smoking. Listen to your body, get enough sleep, and manage stress with relaxing activities like drawing or playing. Remember, small steps every day can make a big difference in keeping your heart healthy and strong. To know more, check our video 
how your heart works. Trivia time! Did you know a heart attack can happen suddenly without a person knowing it? Yes, this is referred to as a silent heart attack and these account for one in five heart attacks. It's sketching time! Today's sketch of the day goes to Lohas. Hope you learned something new today. Until next time, it's me Dr. Binox zooming out. Never mind.